Hey guys, welcome back in this new video. This is the first video of the Cash OS tutorial series that I'm making for beginners. And in today's video, we are actually going to install Cash OS and I'm going to show you everything you need to know and you need to do in order to properly install Cash OS on your computer. If you haven't watched this video yet, I suggest you to watch the video that I've updated and it's about everything you need to know before switching to Linux as a beginner. And after you watch that video, come back to this video. And so let's begin. So the first thing that we have to do is search Cash OS on our favorite browser and and we're going to open the official website, which is cashos.org. And here we click on download. And on the desktop edition, we click on download desktop edition. We click on direct. And then we save the ISO file. And the second thing that you want to do is search for Balena Etcher on your browser. And we're going to open the official website, which is www.balena.io. And we'll click on download Etcher. If you're on Windows, you click on Windows, the installer, and it's going to install the program. If you're on Linux, you click on download Etcher for Linux here. And once it has downloaded, we extract the archive that we have downloaded and then we have a Balina Etcher. We can make sure by right clicking on it, we click on properties, permissions, and we make sure that allow executing file as a program is checked. And if it is, we just double click on Balina Etcher and this is it. Then we select flash from file and here we're going to select the cache US ISO file that we have just installed. So it's this one for me. I click on open and here you have to connect a USB stick that you want to utilize to flash the cache US ISO image on it so that you can later install cache US on your computer. Now keep in mind that this process we delete every single file that you have on the USB stick that you're going to use. So please use one that has nothing important or that you just want to, because this will overwrite and delete every single file on your USB stick. So if you have something important in that USB stick, please back it up because this will delete everything. So once you're ready, you connect the USB stick into your computer and here you click on select target and here you're going to select the USB stick that you want to utilize and overwrite. So you click on it, then you click on select and then you click on flash ISO and you wait until it finishes. And after you've done that, all you need to do is reboot the operating system, go into the BIOS and disable secure boot if it is enabled because otherwise it might not work properly. And every BIOS of every motherboard is different. So I can't really show you how to do this for your motherboard. You have to search it up for yourself. And once you have done that, you just need to restart the computer again and boot from the USB stick. So here we are. Once you have clicked to boot from the USB stick, you will be greeted with this menu. And all you have to do is click on Cache OS default. So we click on it and it's going to boot into Cache OS. Now you're going to see a lot of commands appearing here and don't worry, it's completely normal. So don't worry, don't panic. I've seen many people panic with this screen because they see all these tags and they think, oh, terminal, so it's bad or like something has gone wrong. Don't worry, nothing has gone wrong. So here we are, we are inside Cache OS. It literally took 40 seconds for me. And the first thing you have to do once you are in this live environment is to connect to the internet because if you don't connect to the internet the installation is not gonna work cash OS needs the connection to the internet to install properly so the first thing to connect to the internet is you click on the icon right here on the bottom right and you connect to the wi-fi or to like the cable connection if you have a cable connection it should automatically connect by default if you want to connect to wi-fi it will appear here and once you're done connecting to the internet you can finally click on launch installer and wait a couple of seconds until a new window will pop up so for me right now it only says grub and limin that's because i'm on a virtual machine right now on your computer it will have other options uh, just select grub especially if you're a beginner just select grub and after you have selected grub another window will pop up so just wait a couple of seconds until it does and look it has already popped up. It literally took four or five seconds. So now here you can select the language of the operating system. Now it's defaulting to Italian for me, but uh, I'm going to select American English. So I click on next and here you select the time zone. And after you've selected the time zone, you can click on next. Here you can select the keyboard layout. It also shows you what the keyboard layout is. And I have an Italian keyboard layout. Here it is, Italian. So after you select the right keyboard layout that you have, you click on next. And here you want to select the proper SSD or the proper hard disk where you want to install cache OS. and be sure to select the right one because this will delete everything and after you have selected the right one going to click on erase disk and leave everything else by default you don't really need to change anything else so click on next and here this is the interesting part you can actually select what desktop environment you want to use so if you're a beginner what you should use is either Plasma Desktop or GNOME. GNOME is a desktop environment that looks more like macOS. But if you come from Windows, I really suggest you to try Plasma Desktop. Then you click on Next. And in this page, you don't have to select anything else. Just leave the selection here by default. But just scroll down and select Printing Support. And if you have an HP printer, you have to click on Support for HP Printers and Scanners. So I have one, so I'm going to click on those two things. And that's all you have to do. You don't really have to add anything. So you click on Next. And here you can select the username of your computer. And here you can 
can choose password for it and you want to make sure to leave this checkbox ticked on use the same password for administrator account because it's going to make things a lot easier for you and after you've done this you click on next and this is just a summary so check that the drive you have selected to install cash us is the right one and if it is and everything is right you just click on install and you click on install now and you wait until it finishes installing here you just have like a couple of slides that will tell you a little bit more about CacheOS so you can read those while it's installing and installation should take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection and on the speed of your USB stick so just wait a couple of minutes until it finishes installing the system so here we are it has finished installing and all we have to do is click on restart now and click on done and it will restart the computer so here you just select CacheOS this is the grub bootloader that we have installed and selected at the beginning of the installation you just click on CacheOS Linux and that's it so here here you just have to input the password of your account and you click this button right here and it will log in into the desktop here we are and now that you're on the desktop you can do everything you want the last thing i want to mention for this video is that if you want to do a dual boot with another linux distro or with windows you have to follow what i'm going to tell you next so first you have to open the file manager and then you're gonna click on root right now it says devices for me because i'm on a virtual machine but for you down here it's gonna say root and then you're gonna click on root or here you're just gonna type the forward slash okay it's gonna get you to the root directory and once you are inside the root directory you have to click on etch then you have to open the default folder that is default okay so this is the default folder so you want to go etch default and the grub you want to open this file and here you scroll down until you find a line that says grub disable os prober and so we're going to remove this hashtag right here we're going to click on control plus s and it's going to ask our password so we're going to input our password we click on ok and the last thing that you have to do in order to make windows appear in the grub selection that we've seen before is open the terminal yes we have to open the terminal so we're gonna click on the start menu we search on console and we're going to copy and paste this command that i'm going to copy and paste in the description of this video so you just copy it and paste it here okay so what you actually have to do is type sudo first and then you paste the command as you saw i typed it without sudo and it didn't really work which sudo stands for like administrator privileges so here it asks you for your password again you put the password and you click on enter again and if you have windows installed on another drive then it will appear it will find it and it will appear in the grub menu so that is it for the first video about installing CacheOS. I've told you everything you need to know to install CacheOS. And that's all for today's video. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow a lot. And I'm going to see you in the next episode of this CacheOS tutorial series. Bye bye.